Hey, what's up you guys? So, I uh, wanted to do a video on two of my favorite leather jackets. One you can easily find that I believe is gonna end up being a classic. Uh, it comes from a classic company. They've been around for a long time as well. Handmade jackets, they're based out of New York, which is uh, the one I'm wearing right now. And then I wanna show you the vintage one actually from the late 40s that I've gotten and probably one of my most prized favorite jackets that I uh, came across. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this jacket I'm wearing, you can see our requests about it. Uh, it is the Shot NYC 626 fitted jacket. I've had it for a long time. It's held up through everything. I put it through, just like all the rest of my stuff, I put it through everything. This is a uh, cowhide jacket. And what I love about this is it just lasts through time. The goat skin or the lambskin jackets, they stretch out, they lose shape. They feel plush, they feel amazing, they look great for a while. What I love about a jacket like this, like a shot, is they're still making them the same way that they used to make them. You can beat them up, you can rough them up. Patina is going to keep getting better and better and better with them. So this is the shot NYC 626 jacket again. It's got an inside pocket here, you got a zip pocket here, zip for the sleeves. This one does fit really snug, so about the sizing with this jacket. If you're interested in it, they're right around 900 bucks. It's a great investment. You can't go wrong with investing in a leather jacket. This one is probably my most snug fitting leather jacket. I wanted more of a snug fit with this, more of a tailored look. So a lot of the shot jackets like the Perfecto and things like that, which are also amazing jackets, they can get kind of big and bulky. And you'll see that actually with the classic I'm gonna show you right now. Kind of get a good look at it. Just a good old classic moto biker jacket. All right, so now I'll show you the lining of the inside of it. So this is the lining. <clears throat> good old classic, just plaid. And these zippers you can see are, I mean, they're monsters. And what's crazy is, is this jacket is probably only maybe 10 years old, I'm gonna guess. And the one I'm gonna show you is from 1948. Like Which is crazy to me that something is still being made the way they used to make it. So that's why I call this a classic. Moving on. All right, so this is the Buco J24 jacket. I got a pretty cool story about this and how I came across it. Uh, it was from an estate sale. The guy had kept it in his closet for, I guess it would be probably 25, 30 years. And a zipper had broke on it. So it got stored away into a closet. The zipper was repaired. The zipper was replaced sometime around the 80s. The owner of the jacket originally has the, I have all the paperwork and everything that came with the zipper that he sourced to replace it with a time period zipper. So, pretty amazing that this has been around for so long and it's one of the best looking ones I've found. Usually, after all that time, they'll still look good, but they're, they're pretty rough. So, again, this is the Buco, let's see the label, Buco J24. In my opinion, it's the most legendary, and a lot of people would agree, most legendary leather jacket that was made. And this was the first one. This is what started it all with the biker jackets. So you see this came with extra long sleeves because they did that for whatever you're riding because you put your arms up on the bars or whatever and then it comes back. So I actually had the, which the guy that did the tailoring for me, he tried talking me out of shortening the sleeves, but I intended on wearing it a lot and they just were too long. I mean, they would hang over your hands and I wasn't gonna use a jacket like this for, for riding. It also came with, which I don't have it, have it uh, with me, it's actually upstairs. It came with the original belt, which was crazy. The one thing on these old jackets that they improved on with the newer jackets is there's no inside pocket, which is, be kind of frustrating if you're like me and you like to put your wallet inside. I don't want to stretch out the pockets on the front. I did pay a 
stupid amount for this thing, but I just, as a collector of leather jackets and my obsession, it was the ultimate. If I was gonna find one, I was going to do what I could to buy it. But very, very thankful to have this one. Also, I'll show you it fits. These older jackets were a lot more bulky, but that's just what you get with, if you're gonna find an old Buko, they just always made the shoulders so much bigger in them. But through slimming the arms, you can actually bring it down if you find a good dealer. Anyways, I hope that helps. I'll put details down below in the description. Please like, subscribe. I'm really happy to be back doing these again. I know I've said that already. And you guys keep uh, letting me know what you want to see. As that sums it up on the two leather jackets to show off today. I'm sure there will be a lot more videos on leather jackets on the way as well. I'll see you guys next week.